might have spent the last night on the slug. Uh, one of the keep turning left sailors from Essex is going to buy the boat and uh, he's got a Ford Galaxy so I can tow the boat so he's going to come and pick up the boat and the trailer we're going to bring it up to here going to put the KTL onto the mooring here going to make a frame to put the slug on here they're going to lift the slug up and put it on the trailer and then he's going to tow it down to Essex and eventually return the trailer to me so that's a good plan 1500 quid which is you know um, I paid 2200 for it five years ago and I haven't been kind to it so you know that's not bad I put money into it but you know just to keep it going so uh, the last night on the boat and it's a classic kind of east coast I guess the Scots would call it kind of drief just it's raining it's supposed to stop um, about midday so it should give me a chance to clear the boat out, clear all my clutter. Five years of boat clutter, and I'm sure you know what that's like. So in this, I can give Richard a nice, clean boat. Well, not clean, but at least cleared out of my stuff. He's not going to have to start his relationship with the boat by junking all the rubbish that I've left on the boat on the chance that he might want it. So I'm going to take it all off, as much off as possible, so that he's just got the shell of the boat with the bare necessities, the sails and the uh, anchor. Um, I probably won't, you know, I'll take most mm, fenders, warps, he's got all that, he doesn't want more fenders and warps, so I'll take all that away as well. Bucket of cleaning materials that's been in the stern for five years. All the loo rolls and everything. Um, stuff that's just been on the boat for all, all that time more stuff to go in the garage but at least i'll have got rid of one boat it's a shame it's been good yesterday out in the rough water with the diesel engine going it was really good it behaved itself fantastically i took um the boat out i've got the five horsepower outboard from here and uh, i tried it on the back of the boat out at the bar to see what would happen and it went into the waves pretty well, but when you turned away from the waves and the waves caught you on the quarter, there was a lot of cavitation, a lot of loss of control. Um, and I did the same manoeuvre with the diesel inboard, and it was just precise. It was just saying, you know, this is what we're going to do. And the inboard was in charge. I felt in charge of the waves. You know, it wouldn't have bothered me going out through the bar uh, with the diesel inboard going, provided it was a reliable diesel inboard. It wouldn't bother me. It would get me there. An outboard on the back of the boat, you can still lose it, and that's right. So, hopefully, the new boat will fulfill the best of both worlds.